In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the system logs using the web interface for your DVR or NVR. In this example, I'm going to use the default IP address. If you've changed your IP address from the default or you've set DHCP for remote viewing, then you will want to access the TCP IP network settings page to find out what the IP address is for your DVR or NVR. I'm going to press enter to access the web interface and then log in using the default username and password for the system. To get to the logs, I'm going to click the maintain menu option and then the first tab is the logs. I'm just going to search for today, but when you search for your logs, you will want to search for the day when the issue or problem occurred with your DVR or NVR, hard drive, or camera. So I'm going to search for those logs today. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and here we can see there is a disk notification and a reboot notification. The disk notification simply tells us that it's using the hard drive we have in our NVR, if there are any issues with the disk, it will show an error here instead, or show smart details. Here, there is the reboot. I'm going to click on that. As you can see, it was a normal reboot. And this is because we went to the shutdown button and then removed the power from our NVR. I'm going to scroll down a little bit just for another example of a reboot. I'm going to click on that. And here we can see this was an abnormal reboot with a flag of 0x01. Now, there's nothing wrong with our NVR. We just simply remove the power supply, which caused this abnormal reboot without doing a manual shutdown. Depending on the type of issue that you're having with your recorder, you may receive a reboot flag of 0x01, 0x02, 0x03, and so on. You want to report that code to our support team to find out more information for, or troubleshooting steps. Sometimes in here you can also find tampering events or video loss events for your cameras which will help you troubleshoot different power issues or issues with cameras. Hopefully this video helps you access the system logs using the web interface. Thank you for watching.